Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Amanda and I am the mom behind Raising A to Z, this YouTube channel where we give you guys tips, tricks, and inspiration for homeschooling. And today we're talking back to school traditions or not back to school traditions. So if you've heard the term not back to school and you're wondering what that is, it is a bit of a movement in the homeschool community to celebrate homeschooling, um, but we don't like to call it back to school because the kids aren't actually going back to school. They're just in the home anyway. Um, but whether you want to call it back to school or not back to school, um, there's a certain point in the year where you kind of do like a reset. For us, September kind of tends to be our reset time because we are a little bit dictated by the school schedule here because my husband, Stefan, he is um, a high school teacher and so he ends up going back to school at a certain time of the year, which is September. And so we kind of use that as like our reset, refresh for the year. Um, this is kind of the point in time when we bring out new curriculum, new activities, and it's kind of, for us, it's when everything restarts. So like a lot of the girls' activities start up again, kind of mid to end September. Um, play groups meet up, preschool classes, gymnastics starts again. So like it kind of is like this restart of everything that goes on in our homeschooling when it's a little bit more structured as opposed to over the summer when Stefan is home and we kind of just spend most of the summer unschooling and running around and visiting people. It's just time for us to reset. That being said, we are also really big believers in celebrating. We think it's really important to celebrate milestones. We think it's important to celebrate the little things in life. And so having a day to celebrate kind of the reset of your year, I think is really important. Like we celebrate New Year's, like January 1st. I think we should celebrate when we kind of reset our school year or our homeschool year. So today I'm gonna to share with you 10 ideas that you can do to celebrate um, back to school or not back to school, however you wanna call it. So we try to pick ideas to share with you guys that are easy, that are inexpensive, and that you can pretty much do anywhere. Everyone is different, and so don't feel the pressure to pick all 10 of these, or, or even five of them. Pick one or two that you really find important and you think that would be really special, and, and do them. I think it's always, like I said, celebrate in the way that is unique for your family and that your kids will enjoy and appreciate, and just enjoy getting back into your routine. Let's start off. First thing you can do is have a special breakfast. So whether that is you being at home with your kids and making them something special like bacon and eggs or pancakes, something you don't normally have, or some people like to like actually physically go out and get breakfast. I know that's a little bit trickier right now with COVID, but you know, to each their own if you wanna go out. Some people really like that's the one time of year they go out for breakfast. So it's a great way to start the day and it's a great way to like start a day of celebration. The second thing you can do is kind of like an annual back to school picture. I know some people like to do them with like a chalkboard or they'll print a page with the kid's grade in it or their age. Like unschoolers tend to use ages rather than grades. Um, we are big fans of the letter board and so we'll do like a little back to school photo. We'll put the kids on the front deck and we'll do a little photo with them. It's nice, like they don't really care about it, but it's nice for me to have that photo because it's marking the milestones of like us as homeschool parents. And because our kids don't really get like school pictures, um, it kind of ends up being like their school picture because it's really the one official photo of the year for them. So yeah. We like to take the annual picture and it's nice to kind of watch their progression as they grow up over over the year. So take a picture. Our third idea is to do like a curriculum gift bag. So um, I'm gonna give the kids all of their brand new curriculum in a gift bag, like all the stuff I've purchased for this year, their math book, their language book, um, along with a couple like things that I've purchased that they're gonna need. So like some of their back to school supplies are gonna be in there. They're gonna get, uh, I have a couple um, like I have a puzzle, I have a couple books, like just a few little things that are gonna go into their bags and it's just like a way to like make it so much more exciting, right? Like it's not just like, here's your book. It's, hey, let's check it out, here's a present. You get to take out the tissue paper and you get to like see all of your stuff all at once. So I think that is just gonna be fun. It's gonna be our first year that we try this one, um, but I think they're going to love it. Like my kids love opening presents anyway and I think it'll just make it more exciting for them. So. 
wrap it up and they might actually find it more exciting. So, and like really what's a celebration without a gift, right? We celebrate birthdays and Christmases and, and Easter's and they all get some kind of gift at those times. So like, why not they, why don't they get like a gift that they're gonna need and they're gonna use when you're like getting back to homeschooling. So perfect kind of way to celebrate. Another idea that you can do is on your first day of school, you can go on a field trip. Because all the other kids are back to school, you'll find that your museums, your galleries, your science centers, they are all empty. And so a lot of homeschoolers get really excited when school starts again because they can go to these places and they're nowhere near as busy as before. I know that's a little different right now, but it's always a good thing to kind of keep in mind is that a field trip is like, A, a great way to like really dive into learning and B, it's hands-on, and C, it's really, really fun. So why not start your year with a field trip? Number five, another great idea that is even less expensive than going on a field trip, you could go on a picnic. We're gonna do this one this year. I'm going to pack the kids like a little lunch, we're gonna grab our blanket, and we're gonna go find a cool park to go explore and have fun at. And bonus, I'm gonna look for one that has um, a splash pad. Because really, what's better than just like a playground? there's a splash pad and knowing that everybody else is like in school doing work, you are out running around in the splash pad and sliding and doing all those things. So go out, have a picnic, have a, visit a park or a splash pad and make kind of like a little afternoon of it. Number six, um, you could do a library visit. Like really, we love the library. I think the library is like one of the best places you can invest your time in to going. There's so many things you can get at the library. There's so many resources your libraries have. Um, so like what a better way to start your homeschool year than by going to a library and picking out a whole bunch of new books. Um, if you can do that, it's great. I, I'm really happy that you can go to the library. We can't do that yet. So um, we won't be able to do it this year, but we do make going to the library on a regular basis part of our homeschooling. So. Definitely, if that's something that you're interested in, the library is a great free place to go and kind of celebrate getting back to school. Number seven, you could host a poetry tea time. We adore poetry tea time. We think it is, my kids think it's the greatest thing ever. Alexi asks on a regular basis to have a poetry tea. And when I asked her what she wanted to do in her homeschooling, it was one of the first things she said is, I wanna do more tea parties. So why not start your year with a tea party? You know, we have a whole video on how to host a tea party if you're interested in that, like a real poetry tea. Um, we'll put the link for that up here somewhere. Start your year with a party. It doesn't have to be fancy or overly complicated, but it's so nice to kind of meld like a celebration and food and some poetry or some reading read alouds and kind of mix them all together because then you're combining like an academic thing with like a social and it's just kind of a beautiful melding of of things for the first day of school. So definitely consider doing like a poetry tea on your first day back to homeschooling. Number eight, get creative. I find the first day or even the first week of homeschooling is great to kind of like do some crazy things that you probably won't get to do very often throughout your homeschooling year. Um, one of them could be like doing like a really big, messy art project whether you're gonna like paint canvases with acrylic paint or you're gonna like paint your windows or do collage. Like the first day or the first couple days of homeschooling is great to kind of do something really big and messy and kind of get everybody really excited. And it also helps to really get like the creative juices flowing in their brains. And so you kind of jump into like a really interesting creative space where the kids can like, they're thinking about stories and ideas and what they're putting on paper. And so like, just like, kickstart that when you're getting back into homeschooling with like a creative arts day. Number nine, have a game day. Um, game schooling is growing in popularity. Um, game schooling is basically where you do a lot of your like teaching and learning concepts to are taught through games. And so what better way to like celebrate getting back to school than like spending a whole day or an afternoon doing some game schooling. Whether you want to do outdoor activities like bocce or horseshoes, whether you want to do indoor games and play something like Monopoly, Scrabble, Battleship, like there's so many games and there's so many concepts like mathematical and literacy concepts that go with so many games. It's a great way to celebrate a day, especially if it's like a rainy day or cold 
It's a great way to do something really fun and engaging and they're also kind of like secretly learning and really who doesn't want to like have fun and play games on their first day of school. So consider having like a game school day. My last idea for back to homeschooling day would be to start a new read aloud. So we like to do like a big book as part of our unit studies. And so on our first day of homeschooling, we're gonna like jump into a big our big chapter book and we read a chapter at bedtime. And so that's what we're going to do on our first day of back to homeschooling. We're gonna start a brand new book. And it's great because you don't have to necessarily read the book yourself. It's just, it's nice to read a book as a family, but you don't have to read the book yourselves. I think a lot of people forget that audiobooks are a great way to listen to a story. And so find an audiobook, read a book aloud to your kids, even if they're a little bit older, they will really love it and love you for it because they get all the information and all the ideas in their heads and they don't have to actually do the work of looking at the words read alouds are so important. So it's a great way to really start your homeschool year. I think it's one of our favorite things to do at night is to like cuddle in bed and read a book and you might as well start with a brand new one. I hope these are some great ideas for you. It gives you some ideas that you can implement in your homeschooling and your first day or a couple of days of homeschooling. You don't have to do all of them, pick one or two, or if you want, three or four, whatever works for your family, and find a way to celebrate getting back into the swing of things and back into a routine um, and make it fun and exciting for everyone. I hope you like these ideas. If you do, please subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when we put out new videos every Monday morning. And make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We always put up ideas and tips and show you guys what we're doing in our homeschooling. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to like leave us a comment or drop it in our DMs in, on Facebook or Instagram. We answer those on a regular basis and we just love helping other homeschoolers embrace this whole homeschooling world. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.